One thing to note about gauges, you have to flick them sometimes to get them to work right. They'll stick. Did you see how that just popped up to 25? I did that knowing that this will actually pump down to 25 inches, but even with pressure gauges, not just vacuum gauges, they you need to give them a tap to get an actual reading. What we're looking at here is a vacuum pump that I have constructed by salvaging a compressor out of an old water cooler. These things make pretty good vacuum pumps. Now it won't pump all the way down to 30, but it gets up to about 25 centimeters. Is that what that is? Or that's 25 inches of mercury. So what I'm doing here is degassing some oil that I'm going to be putting inside this kinetic actuator. The reason for that is, is I'm under the impression that gas is dissolved and the oil will affect the bulk modulus behavior. And it'd just be interested to see how much gas is dissolved in regular motor oil. So see the gauge is pumping up. We are drawing a vacuum. We know we got a good seal if it hits 25. You can see already the bubbles are getting bigger, floating to the top. So that just may have been small bubbles that were already in there that are now increasing in size. Slowly approaching 45 centimeters of mercury. And you get a light on it or something on That overkill. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty cool. Definitely some bubbles in there. Now those little bubbles will affect compression. I don't know if I'm drawing gas and that's why I'm staying at 20 or this fitting just isn't tightened good enough. I hand tighten that. So that's probably what it is. Let me set you down for a second. See if I can mitigate this situation. Okay. That's a snugger fit. Holding out on me right around 20 there. And I'm feeling a gas pressure, so yeah, I've got a good leak somewhere. Hard telling where it is. I'll get to that in a minute. But even at 45 centimeters of mercury, 20 inches of mercury. A lot of gas in that oil. I'm at 24 inches of mercury. So cool. Approaching 25 inches. 30 inches is total vacuum, which is impossible to do with a single vacuum pump. I think you gotta have like a turbo molecular vacuum pump or something to do that. That is too cool. It's gonna make every last one of those float up. Spot. I guess that was the best one. One last little cluster down there. There it goes. We're right at 24.9 inches of vacuum. Inches of mercury, I mean.
Still some foam on the top there. It's neglecting the pop. I ended up having to solder this. It was leaking too much. No matter what I did. Really wish I would have logged the time. This thing's been running about a half hour. Showing no sign of wetting up. I'm still at about 64 centimeters of mercury there. 25 inches of mercury, whatever. I'm running a squirrel cage on this thing because this thermal cutoff here will activate if you don't. I'm going to let this thing run so it completely stops bubbling because. I cannot have any gas in this kinetic actuator. I'm worried it will affect it negatively. Well, more than I thought, maybe. Crazy, there's that much gas in there. I'd like to collect this gas under water to see if it is an actual volume of gas or just expanded microscopic bubbles. I suppose I could test that by depressurizing, but. This is a mixture of transmission fluid and synthetic motor oil. Just degassing it, getting ready to load it into that kinetic actuator. This is an approximate amount of oil that I took out of this thing. Now, of course, it slurped up quite a bit of the transmission fluid, but it also had several other kinds of oil in there. This is probably 300 different chemicals. So what I want to do is I want to fill it back up with this much oil. And I think that ought to be on the safe side. It wasn't really spraying anything out of the discharge yet. And this is the size of the unit. And the specifications, the serial number if you're interested. So if you ever take one of these apart or want to change the oil out, sometimes just dumping what was in there in a bottle isn't going to do it because sometimes that stuff is trapped in other places in the system, I think. I'm not sure how that works. You don't know if it had enough in there to begin with. But you definitely want to get that old stuff out of there. Forget what it's called. It's some kind of strange, an ester or something like that. I can't remember. Ester oil. Okay, so I've sealed the tank back off with one of these gasket self-tappers. Some pretty amazing screws. I am so into the self-tapping thing these days. Until these came to my world, I hated drilling metal together. Enough of that, but anyway. So that's what came out, and that's what I want to put back in. Nothing was spraying out of the discharge, and I know this had way more in it than it was supposed to. I'm comfortable with having too much. So, we're going to see how well this goes. Got a little residual in there. Basically, I'm just hooked up to 
the intake. I'm going to turn this on. And as you can see, it's sucking it right in there. Hopefully, this takes place fairly swiftly. I don't like the idea of running it without oil in there. It's actually drawing a vacuum. I really hope this thing isn't going to leak on me. That would be a shame. So far, so good. This is just junk motor oil. I was going to break down and put some synthetic 15,000 mile in there, but I don't want to wait. And I've been sitting on this oil forever. It's time to put it to use. This you normally only pumps down to 25 inches. Nothing coming out of the discharge yet. Oops. It's taking it all. So I hope that's enough. Stuff may not be a good idea to run in this. I already don't like the looks of it. Yeah, this isn't good at all. You'll have that. Okay, so nothing's coming out of the discharge. Everything seems okay. This little thing does get hotter than I like. I don't like that at all. I think just when it's running on high vacuum like that it draws a lot of current so it has been known to kick itself off I like to run a fan on this thing I got a little squirrel cage fan that works great for that but I think this was a successful oil change I'm not seeing any problems other than it's not drawing a vacuum as powerful as it used to and I wonder if this screw is loose or maybe just doesn't have enough oil on it to seal it see if this increases the vacuum that last little tenth of an inch yeah I got a leak somewhere man well we'll get back at this